Okay. It's looking like a mirror. Uh, let's see. Keep my one drop. Uh, get rid of these. Keep this. I guess I get rid of Robin Hood. This is my turn two. I'll probably want to ink this stitch to play this stitch. Like, I just want the inkable there. I think this is fine. Okay. Um, so, definitely want to ink this stitch. Question is whether I play the Cinderella, even though I don't have, um, anything in this thing yet. I guess I do. I might draw into a song when I play Ariel anyway. Little John. Interesting. Oh, it looks like an aggro deck. Alright, then, um... Hmm, how do I want to do this, actually? Maybe I want to ink Cinderella and just play these two one-cost cards. I think I do. And then on turn three, I can actually Robin Hood. I'll even quest with the Cinderella. This is an aggro deck, so Cinderella is not in any danger. So for turn three, I think I'm going to play Robin Hood. Okay. Yeah, this works out really well. So I'll ink the Rapunzel. Uh, maybe I should have inked the Ariel, actually. That was a mistake. Anyway, crash into this. Um, maybe have Stitch crash into that, or do I preserve Stitch's um, Stitch's health? I'll have Cinderella crash into it. And just quest with Stitch. But I should have um, I should have inked the Ariel instead of the Cinderella, so I can draw two with uh, with Robin Hood. It's fine though. Okay, Tinkerbell. Alright. I'll just play the aerial here. Um play this. And then I'll sing it. Cause I do want to kill that, that Tinkerbell. I do miss out on the um I do miss out on inking this turn, but it's fine. I don't want that Tinkerbell to um, shift into the big Tinkerbell. Yeah, GG. Okay. Green purple. Um, definitely want to keep this. Get rid of the grab your swords, maybe. Get rid of Tinkerbell, get rid of this. Do I keep a whole new world? I don't know if I do. Maybe I do keep it? Not sure, because Ursula can, can get rid of it. But it does mean he doesn't get rid of the Storm Rage on. We'll get rid of the beast, though. Alright, let's see how this works out. Oof, I have two whole new worlds. I guess that's not too bad. Kind of an expensive hand, though. Okay. Um, yeah. I think the most expensive one. And then play Cinderella. Probably gonna have her sing the Let the Storm Rage On on the Curse Merfolk. Unless he plays the 1-2. The okay, Ursula. He's gonna take a peek. He's gonna get rid of a whole new world. Oh no, he's gonna get rid of Let the Storm Rage On. Interesting. Oof, I had an, yet another one. 
Um, okay. Well, I guess I can hit there and then get rid of one of the whole new worlds. Question is, what do I do after? I guess we'll ink the Robin Hood. Do I play this stitch? Yeah, okay. It is a little awkward, though. John. And we'll sing it. Rockstar Stitch is pretty good. Just gonna quest with Stitch, I think. If I can get an inkable, I can play him out. rid of the uh, whole new world. So now he knows I have one more. wonder if he has a third Ursula. Um, that's perfect. Alright, so ink here. And then play Stitch. And then sing with Ariel. And then, do I sing Strength of Raging Fire? Hmm. Just on on Ursula? Is that even worth it? Might be okay, because now... I'll... Hmm. It isn't that good. No, I'll wait on that. I think I just quest with the Rockstar Stitch, right? Or maybe I just keep him unexerted. Because if he has the rush, then um, he'll be able to kill him. And I kind of don't want to give him that opportunity. I miss out on the three lore. But next turn I can play these, and it's actually really good. So I'll actually just wait on it. I'm okay with missing out on the three lore. So that I'll play Strength of Raging Fire. That's a lot more worth it. There's my last whole new world. Um, anyway. So... I guess I'll start by cycling. There's another Rockstar Stitch. Um... So I'm out of cards that cost two or less. I guess that's okay. Hmm. I do want to eventually shift into the big Cinderella. There's no real... Like... I may as well just hard cast the strength... So I think in this case, I'll just ink the Robin Hood, maybe? Or do I ink the other Rockstar Stitch? I mean, I can upgrade this. Let's ink the Robin Hood. Because I might actually want to play the Beast on turn 5. And I'll just hard cast this. I think I can just freely quest with this. 
Um, these don't really threaten Ariel. Kind of okay with just questing with her, but I'll just pass. We'll quest with Cinderella. That's fine, I'll quest with all of them, it's okay. I have options for next turn. I find it unlikely that he'll kill both these Cinderellas. Okay. Who's casting Mother Knows Best? Oh, I get the original Stitch back. That's really interesting, actually. I did not know that. Okay. I actually didn't know that. Okay, um, let's see. So I can't actually shift back into the, the Rockstar stitch. If I want to. And then just play the smaller stitches. Mm. Can't play Big Tinkerbell and that kills the Chernamogs. I kind of like that more actually. I think this maybe? I think this. And just play the big Tinkerbell. Kills the Chernobogs, puts this at 1, puts her at 2. So I can't actually just crash here. And then remove my Rapunzel, I guess. I'll get rid of one Rockstar Stitch. I don't think I need two. And then I'll have this Stitch crash here. And do I quest with these two? Mm. I think I'm fine just playing it slow. Okay, so that's gonna get rid of Whole New World. My last one. It's fine because I don't really need it. So, Madam Mim, I think maybe his Madam Mim will crash into my stitch to kill itself. Okay, hit the Cinderella instead. Okay. Um, let's see. Ken shifted to the big Cinderella. Ken just regularly played this this stitch. Hitting Tinkerbell isn't that good. But I guess I can heal her back up. Let's see what I get off this aerial first. Maybe I want to sing something. Mm. Okay. So if I punch with the, the Tinkerbell against the Madam Mim... Damage the Merlin, and then grab your swords. It's not that useful, honestly. Am I overthinking it? I think I might be. Alright, let's just punch here. And then have the two damage hit the Merlin. And then I'll ink the beast. And then I'll heal. And draw three. Okay. And then... Uh... Sing grab your swords. I mean, I already have a lot of them. It's unlikely that he's going to flood his board anymore. So, I guess I'll sing it. It's fine.
And then I'll quest with the Cinderella. I won't quest with this stitch because I might want to upgrade him. Oh well, yeah, I'll quest with him. That's fine. Let's just start pushing for lore. Okay. So that gets rid of grab your swords, probably. Okay. That was his last Ursula. Robin Hood on board. Um, just play Stitch and then Small Stitch. Or play this Stitch that draws me two cards. I think I'm fine with just playing this Stitch. See if I can get some songs. Yeah. See here. with everything probably do I even ink, ink anything I don't think I do I think I, I like all of these all right GG okay green purple mm. this is a good shift target I kind of like all of this I think I'm going to keep all this. The stitches will be the thing I want to ink. So this is going to be the, the inkable card, because I want to play Robin Hood. Then on turn 3 I will probably shift. But I still have the option to just play an aerial. Okay, Flynn Rider. Um, do I want to play Strength? Maybe I don't. Hmm, because I do want to keep the Rapunzel. Maybe I just think one of the Aerials. Let's think an Aerial. And then quest with the Robin Hood. Ursula. There's a, another Rapunzel. Hmm. So I can ink Strength of a Raging Fire. And then upgrade the Robin Hood. Alright, let's do it. And then if I want to, I could play Let the Storm Rage On. And that's er that saves me the the discard. Alright. It does mean I lose out on the two lore that um that I get from punching. But I think at the time, having cards was more value. Not so much anymore now that I have Whole New World. But hopefully he doesn't play the um, the Ursula that, that discards it. Ursula Deceiver. Okay. I wonder if he'll bounce back this, uh... Bounce back the Ursula. Or play Mother Knows Best on my Robin Hood. does. So I got both those cards back. So I think my next turn I'll ink the Rapunzel. 
and play Ariel Robin Hood. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'll take grab your swords. And then I'll get my Robin Hood back. It is so interesting that, like, when I bounce back the, um, or when they bounce back my Robin Hood, I get the small Robin Hood back. Okay. He's drawing a lot of cards. I can nullify that with a whole new world. Pinocchio. Maybe he's gonna pick Robin Hood? No, of course he picks Ariel. I do, if I play a whole new world now, I do lose my, like, three of my grab your swords. It does feel kind of bad. Hmm. I do definitely want to shift here. And then just have Robin Hood punch that Ursula. I do have to kill her. I guess I'll link the, the Rapunzel here. He is healable, but... I do need to make a plan for the um, whole new world. Robin Hood's at four, so Madam Mim on, on her own doesn't kill him. Crab does. Alright. Okay, not bad. Guess I'll play this guy and then ink this. And then next turn, I could double grab your swords if I want to. I will kill the Merlin plus whatever else he plays, most likely. Mother Knows Best is kind of big, though. Do lose, it, lose out on a lot of tempo there. And now the um, whole new world is not as good. He did a really good job at, like, clearing my board. I think we can just grab your swords. I think we just hard cast it. Do I ink the Robin Hood? I don't know if I do. Next turn I might grab your swords though. Because I might want to kill these guys too. Mm, I guess I'll ink the Robin Hood. Queen's Castle is bad. Queen's Castle is very bad. That's actually very bad for me. He's just gonna get, like, draw a card. This is four. Might be GG. I don't really have a way to answer these Queen's Castles.
I don't have the damage. Like, this is 5, which isn't going to be enough. Yeah, it looks like GG.